N4 H&H &H here with the FTDX 5000 MP Limited from Yesu. I want you to hear this, uh, this soda station. That's not him. That's one chasing him. There he is. Okay, I'm going to kick in the DSP. Digital noise reduction at 15. Width at 50. Boy, that knocks a lot of it out, doesn't it? APF. Okay, he's a little bit low. I'll, I'll do it over here on the VFO. And if you've seen my other videos, you see why. I like to zero the APF. Find him with the VFO. That way I'm hearing him at the frequency that I want to hear him at, which is set here. Shows up in the screen over there. So I like 550. Um, when he transmits again, I'll show you the difference in antenna makes too. Uh, got my CS button here. Programmed to automatically bring up the APF filter width. You do that by going into the normal menu over here and finding 112. Then long press the CS button to assign it to automatically bring that up. And then you can on the fly adjust the audio peak filter's width. I tend to run super narrow. Lowers the volume a little bit, but you can make up for that over here. Takes all the noise out. Listen to that. He sounds like a practice oscillator. <laughs> but, you know, he's S0. Okay, without all this. kicked all that back in. I'm also going to add the variable radio frequency option here, the internal pre-selector. And what I do with it, oh, let me get out of the menu here. What I do with the uh, VRF is I may not put it centered up where I, hearing him, where I hear him the strongest. I may intentionally shift away from him when he starts sending again. There he is. I call these kind of signals almost imaginary. Here we go. So what I'm doing is I'm using the VRF, the pre-selector, to knock the last hint of noise floor down, but still can hear him. So I don't necessarily want to center up on his frequency or on his, you know, on his signal. Now, let's see what difference antennas make. We're listening to him on a doublet. No, sorry, we are on a uh, ZS6 BKW multiband dipole. Switching to the doublet now. Doublet's going to bring in a little more noise because it's got some gain here. Major lobe here on 20 meters headed out west. See, I, you hear better with the uh, ZSX BKW. It does typically have a better noise floor, but not as much gain either. See, I've got the better signal to noise ratio on the ZSX BKW. Here's an off center fed dipole. Well, let's let him transmit again. Uh, two meters squawking in the background there. Okay, there he is. Off center fed dipole. ZS6 BKW. He's about equal. Here's a Cushcraft R5 vertical. My antenna selector switches right there. So it's easy to switch real quick. See the holder of my two meter rigs in? My dad made that in the 70s for a CB radio. 
made a great place to mount that antenna selector. Okay, off center fed dipole, that's a Fritzel FD4 at about 50 feet, inverted V. ZS6BKW is getting better now. See, propagation changes. That's why I tell my XYL I got to have multiple antennas. In this case, four. Sometimes they shift on one, and when they're going down on one, they're usually coming up on another. Okay, now let's try a doublet. See the gain on the doublet? He comes up, but more noise floor. You know, so it comes down to, do I need to see the signal meter or do I need to hear him like that? Forget that S meter. Go for signal to noise ratio. Love that guy's call. W2SE, easy, easy on the ears to hear, you know, to pick it out, pick it out of a crowd. But just listen to that. We're, we're down here at S0. And we're hearing these guys. Perfect clarity. Even with a strong signal, watch what happens when I undo all that. Why listen to all that when you don't have to? So again, that is digital noise reduction. And it is set at 15. Filter width at 50. APF zeroed up because I went ahead and found him with the VFO. And the variable radio frequency, uh, the front end pre-selector. It's these numbers um, that you'll see are just number assignments to the various different uh, LC networks that it switches in and out. But I, again, I adjusted it to where I had the best signal to noise ratio on him. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy the video and found it informative. Uh, and don't forget, use it. If, you, if you've got a 5000 and you haven't done it yet, uh, make use of that CS, that custom switch down there next to the VFO. Like I said, find something in the menu that you use a lot and uh, go, go into the menu over here and bring it up like I did with APF. And then just long press this button and you'll hear a double beep and it'll assign that to the CS switch. So then next time you need that, you just pet press the CS switch and make your adjustment and then jump right back out again by pressing the CS switch again. Okay, 73 from N4, H and H.